this time, in a little town in Galilee called Nazareth, there was a young girl named Mary. In the springtime, many months before the coming of the star, a strange and wonderful thing happened to her. Mary was outside working in the garden and tending to the flowers. Suddenly, a stream of light shone down on Mary. Its brightness dazzled her, and a voice spoke from the light, and Mary beheld the angel Gabriel. Greetings, favored one. Blessed are you among all women. Mary was startled and looked troubled. The angel said, Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with God. The angel told her that God would send her a little baby, the most wonderful little baby in all the world, who would be the world's savior and be called Jesus. Mary bowed her head. Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me among, upon your work. Joseph, the son of David, who had been told in a dream to take Mary as his wife and that she would bear him a son to be named Jesus, who would save the world from their sins. It came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all of the world should be taxed. Each citizen went unto his own city to be taxed. Joseph went up from Galilee, from his town of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David. He took Mary, his betrothed wife, who was great with child. And so it was that Mary brought forth her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in the manger, because there is no crib for a bed. shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over the flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone about them, and they were so afraid. Do not be afraid. I bring good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you a child is born, this day in the city of David, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. You shall find the baby wrapped in swollen clothes, laying in a manger. Thank you. 
was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth and good will to all people. And it came to pass that the angels were gone away from them into heaven. Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he asked them where Christ should be born. An advisor answered, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet. The three wise men asked, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? We have seen his star in the east. We have come to worship him. Herod replied, Go to Bethlehem and search diligently for the child, and report back to me so that I may come and worship him also. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came to where the child was. They found Jesus and joyfully knelt down, worshipped him, and offered their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, one at a time. But being warned by God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, the wise men quickly departed into their own country another way. The shepherds rejoiced over what they had seen and heard, glorifying and praising God and returned to their flock. Mary and Joseph pondered all that they had seen and heard in their hearts. Christmas, the birth of Jesus Christ. Merry Christmas! 